and the hadith of Tamim Udari says that the angel will come in the most awful of forms to this Fasik, to this Fajr, to this Kafir, to this Munafik. It will come in the most awful of forms. As Imam Qurtubi says that the angel of death is so frightening, is so scary that all the angels in the heaven fear the angel of death more than one of you fears a lion, fears a beast. And when the angel of death, when it comes to a Fajr, when it comes to a Kafir, when it comes to a Munafiq, when it comes to a Zalim, it will come in such form that his feet will be on the ground and his head will be in the heaven. Twelve eyes, black of face, fire leaping out from his mouth, coming out from his nose. He'll have a forked iron rod made out of fire. He'll have 500 angels behind him with whips and embers made out of fire. And when it comes to a Fajr, when it comes to a Kafir, when it comes to a Munafiq, when it comes to a Zalim, there's no addressing with Assalamu Alaikum. The angel of death will strike him with his forked iron rod. And this forked iron rod will enter his body. And when he enters his body, he'll enter every single vein, every single joint. As Abdullah says, radiallahu anhu, that when this fourth iron rod is struck on him, and he enters every single vein, every single joint, it will reach the heart, and it will tear the veins from the heart. And that time the person becomes insane, he becomes mad. And then the angel of death begins to twist it. He begins to twist it. And when he begins to twist it, causes the veins in the heart to burst. And then the angel of death will start taking his soul out. Starting from his feet, stopping at his ankle. The body will faint. And when he comes back around, 500 angels will come with whips and embers made out of fire and they will beat him. And then the angel of death will take the soul out from the ankle to the knees. Yet again, he will faint. And when he comes back around, 500 angels with whips and embers made of fire, they will beat him. <laughs> and then the angel of death will take his soul out from his knees to his waist. Yet again, he will faint. And when he comes back around, 500 angels with whips and embers made out of fire, they will beat him. And then from the waist to the chest, the angel of death will rip his soul out. And the body will swoon. He will faint. And when he comes back around, 500 angels with whips and embers made out of fire, they will beat him. And then the angel of death, he will take the soul out from the chest to the collarbone. Yet again, the body will, he will faint, the body will faint. He will fall in a swoon. 500 angels will come with whips and embers made out of fire and they will beat him. And when he comes back around, the angel of death, he will put this ember made out of fire underneath his neck. And he will say to him, come out to the fire of hell, where there's scorching winds, scolding water, shadow of black smoke, no cool, no refreshing. And then the, body, the soul will be ripped out. And once the soul is ripped out, out of the body, what will happen? The body and the soul will begin to fight. And the army of Iblis will be celebrating. They will be celebrating. And then the coffin from the fire of hell will be bought rough, rigid. It will be bought from the fire of hell. And this person will be wrapped around it. And then the body will be lifted. 
by the angels from the heaven they will come down and they will lift his body and when the body is lifted every place where he committed sin all the places will speak out and they will say good reading you got rid of this disgusting soul and then the angels will take this soul and they will take him to the first heaven and on the way they will be calling him by the most disgusting of names that he's been ever been called on the dunya and when he reaches the first heaven The angel will say, Who is this impure, stinky, smelly, disgusting soul? And the angel will reply, He's the son of so and so. And then, regarding the disbeliever, the Prophet وسلم, recited the verse of the Quran and he says, Never would a kafir enter Jannah until a camel enters the eye of a needle. Would a camel ever enter the eye of a needle? Never. And then a voice is called from the heavens and it will be said, write his name in the scrolls of hell and his body will be thrown down. And now is time of grace.